wrap up for March, I suppose. Um, today is the 6th of April, so I'm gonna go through everything that I've stitched on in March since my last video. I'm doing well with this monthly video thing. I'm keeping up, we're doing well. Um, so, March was somehow a really good stitchy month. Um, I got a lot done. Well, I think I got a lot done. I'm quite pleased with it anyway. So I've got um, one fully finished to show you, two other finishes and a few whips as well. Um, and actually, I think for the first time in a long time, I don't have any new starts. That's not bad for me. Um, bringing that whip count down, which is, yeah, I'm very happy about. So, um, yeah, we'll go through my stitching. Um, a few little plans. Um, I'll mention a couple of flush tubers that I've been watching and a little tiny bit of haul to show you as well. Um, I realised um, back in the, back when I started my channel, um, I was showing you like bits of haul quite regularly um, and then I kind of got out the habit of doing regular floss tubes so every time I got anything I just put it away straight away um, and then forget come floss tube time what I'd bought. So I'm going to try and get better now we're sort of getting back into the regular swing of things of putting things to one side as I get them so I can show them I think. We'll see. This may make me realise how much cross stitch stuff I buy though so I might not do that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Right okay let's just get into the stitching. Um, yeah let's go in. Um, okay so Last video, if you remember, I was stitching on the Bothy Threads Rendale Designs kit called Damsels and Dragons. And this is going to be for my daughter's sixth birthday present. Um, yeah, which was at the end of March. So I really wanted to get it finished by then. So I'll pop a picture in of where I was when you last saw it. And I have now fully finished it. It's done. And I absolutely love it. Um, so this one, uh, I did actually get finished for a birthday. I got it finished actually about halfway through the month, I think, um, which left plenty of time to find a frame and pass it over to mum for uh, putting it in here. And she did a great job. So let's try and not get too much glare on this. Um, so as I say, last time, I think I'd done one, two, three, um, flowers so I managed to finish it off and get it all back stitched and I just think it looks beautiful I'm really pleased with it um and she my daughter Iris she did see me stitching on this um at various points and she kept saying how lovely it is but she's the most gorgeous little girl and says how lovely everything that I do is um but yeah um but I didn't tell her it was for her um so yeah she was really pleased with it, um, and this is going to go up on her bedroom wall somewhere. But yeah, I love stitching on this. This um, These kits are so nice to stitch on, and the effects that you get with quite a, quite a small number of colours, really, um, is just brilliant. Uh, so it comes as a kit, as I say, it's on 14 count Ada provided in the kit, and it's this like speckly fabric. I think most of the speckly fabric is like black or grey speckles. Um, and this one's got like a blue speckle, which is lovely. Uh, all the kit threads. Um, yeah, really like it. Don't really know what else to say on this one. Highly recommend these kits though. And I believe they do now come with um, even weave or you can get them with even weave rather than Ada if that is what previously puts you off these kits. But they're absolutely lovely. Um, and I think I don't have any more bossies on the go now. I think I might have one more in my stash to stitch. Um, but yeah, that's it for my Rendales for now. Love them, really like them. So there we go, Damsels and Dragons, all done. And the frame was just um, just one from uh, the range here in the UK, which is just a, um, I, I love the range. It's like got everything, you could kit your whole house out in the range, I think with like various bits of, homeware and garden things and um kids toys and furniture yeah it's great i love it okay moving on so after i finished that one um in fact this is not the order that i did these in is it i don't know anyway next finish moving on um 
So I decided I was just rummaging through my whips, deciding what I wanted to stitch on next. Um, and for some reason, this really called to me. So I thought, let's get it out, see what we can get done. It's not a massive project, so we'll see. So this is Disturbed Women by Lucy Beam. Um, I will pop a picture in of where you last saw it, which I think was in my whip parade probably. Um, and I don't think I'd got very far. I think I'd maybe got, does it say bed, maybe? Anyway, this is where I am now. I did it. I got it all finished. And again, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so this is stitched on a coffee craft fabric. It's 32 count even weave, I believe. Um, I don't think she names her colour, so I don't think this does have a name, but I just love this fabric. Um, I'm, I really would like a lot more in this kind of colourway. I think it's beautiful. Um, perfect for this sort of like murkier look. Um, I used the called for colours, which like, I don't know why I did really, because I've not used the called for fabric. Um, I just, I don't know, decided to use them. Um, and it's a, which, what did I call them? Da, 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 da. Gentle Arts is this green one. It's in the colour Cucumber. And this colour here is a Weak Sty Works in Purple Haze. Um, and there we go. I did actually run out of, I think it was the green. Yeah, I think I had a couple of skeins of the green and I ran out, so I had to get some more. And the colourway is very slightly different, but I don't think you can tell anywhere, which is good. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this one. I can't wait to get this framed. I feel like I want to frame it in quite like in like a dark but quite intricate frame. I don't know. I'll wait to see what I can find. Um, this does need a good iron. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I just love it. And those of you who have stitched this or own this will know that in the pattern, um, like in the pack, you get a list uh, that Lucy Beam has compiled that's like all the reasons that women were admitted into a mental hospital um, back in the 1800s and it is fascinating like I absolutely love it it's so interesting and just mental um pardon the pun uh how um like how far we've come since then um yeah worth getting the pattern just purely for that list it's fascinating and I thought it's really really interesting to read um anyway it's done and I think actually quite a few people have stitched on this recently or are stitching on it or have finished it recently um so yeah I'm quite tempted to take this to work um and pop it somewhere in the offices somewhere we are a predominantly female run uh office so yeah uh might be quite nice to have this up there anyway that's that one done. Um, and I have another finish to show you. So this is Home of a Needleworker 2 by Little House Needleworks. Um, so this one I was stitching as a stitch along with Jo from Belushi Stitches. Um, we'd split this into three. So we were stitching this from February, 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 March and April. Um, and as it's only the 6th of April, I think I've done pretty well to get this finished. Um, I may have cheated slightly and started the last part at the end of March, but um, I just got excited to get it done. It was really good. So, last time, oh, I'll pop a picture of where you saw it last time. So I'd done part one last time, which was, we'd, we'd split it up ourselves into three parts. So for part one, we'd just done the house, I believe. Part two was gonna be the text, and part three was like the border and the garden-y bits. Um, if you still want to join us, please feel free. Um, but this is my finish. Again, it needs a good iron, sorry about that. But here it is. So this I stitched on 32 count natural Lucan from Zweigart and I've used the Call for Classic Colour Works on this. And again, I just love it. It's great. So um, I don't know if you can see on these threads that I did mention last time. Um, for me, I just thought the variegation in the threads just wasn't showing up that well. Um, and I think actually it's only really in the green, and in fact I don't even know if you can see, but it's only really in the green that I can see it that well. 
either way, I think it's beautiful. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, as I say, if you want to join us on this stitch along, um, please feel free. I don't think Dre's finished it just yet. I think she might have done part two. I don't think she's got into part three yet. Um, but yes, another finish all done. Beautiful colours. Um, just need to get that framed somehow now. Although I imagine that is going to be one that sits in the um, drawer of doom for a while until I decide to get it finished. But yeah, Home of a Needleworker 2 by Little House Needleworks. So that is my finishes. So even up to now, that's not too bad stitching, is it, for one month? Um, yeah, quite happy with that one. Okay, next, let's go into whips. So, as always, um, I am pretty much always working on the Villains by Happy Sloth Patterns, which looks like this. Oh. Um, so I've already stitched the princesses version of this and I'm working on the villains. So I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time. But um, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know this just sits in the car with me. Um, and it's something that I stitch on waiting to pick my daughter up from school. Um, so yeah, it just gets a little bit here and there. Um, but it's it, it comes on quite nicely. So have I already put a picture in of where I was last time? Don't know. If not, it will be there now. Um, sorry, this is in the hoop because I've just moved it to start on the next bit, but this is where I got to. So I'm halfway there. So last time you saw this, I was on 38.84%, which was 7,757 stitches. And now I'm on 50.21%, which is 9,775 stitches. So I've done near enough exactly 2,000 stitches on this. 2020-ish. Um, but yeah, all done up to the halfway point. So as I say, I've just moved the hoop ready to come down here to start the next one. So my plan on this, what I generally do is I stitch the black outline, if you can see. Um, I tend to stitch the black outline just of an evening, just so it's done. I can do all my counting and bits that I need to concentrate on. And then I can chuck it back in the car and just do all the, the filling in, basically. Um, just outside school so yeah I love it I really like it so as I say the next one I'll be coming down here and we'll be working on this third row down but yeah coming along nicely so this I'm just stitching on 16 count white Ada um yeah I feel like if I'd started these later in my cross stitch journey um i'd have done it on like a fancier fabric but as the first one i did was on the white eater i just thought i'd carry on carry on the theme um i feel like i'm showing you a, a blank hoop most of the time here sorry um but there you go so that is coming on really well looking forward to getting on to the next one and carry on with that um Next whip is Our Year by the Historical Sampler Company. I'll pop a picture in of what this will look like when it's done. This was a stitch long from a good few years ago now. Um, could be going back uh, three years maybe, I don't know, can't remember. Um, but I got this one at the time, didn't start it for a while, then put a few stitches in and then just left it. So I decided that this year it was gonna be the year to get this one done. Um, just because I thought it would break down quite nicely. And even if I did like a box a month or something, we'd get it done by the end of the year. Um, so I'm ahead of myself now with this, which is great. So I'll pop a picture in of where you last saw it, um, which I think would have been in my whip parade. And I think I just had the top three months done. And this month, I managed to get the next three done. So this is another one I'm halfway there on. Another one that's just really lovely. This is stitched on a 16 count natural Zweigart Ada. Um, this I, I got as a kit as well uh, from, Histor from Historical Sampler Company. Um, just comes from the call, with the call for DMC again. Um, and yeah, it's really, really cute. Really easy, nice stitching. There is no back stitch, I don't think at all, on this pattern. Um, but it's just lovely, really lovely colours. Excited to be halfway on that one as well. So 
So I think at the time this was released in four parts. So like each row was like a different part. Um, so that's just how I've stitched it really. I've just been pulling out the part that I was sent and stitching it. And um, with the aim each time of just doing the month that we're in, but then just keep getting um, sucked in really and carrying on. So yeah, halfway there on that one. So currently no plans to stick, pick this up until, um, where are we, July but we'll see because it is quite nice and quite quick actually just to pick up and get three months in it doesn't take too long at all so um so yeah that is our year by historical sapphire company two more whips to go <clears throat> right next one is a haid i decided i was really craving a little bit of full coverage stitching so i pulled out quick stitch blue butterfly um from heaven and earth signs and the artist is Ching Cho Quick. I'll pop a picture in of what this will look like when it's done. So this, um, I call it my cheat haid really because it is tiny as far as haids go. Uh, normally people have got like reams of fabric um, with these on but mine is teeny, teeny tiny. I think it's only, I want to say it's only like 16,000 stitches total um, which means I should really just get it done but don't mind. So I'll pop a picture of where it was last time, which again, I think is in my whip parade. Um, and at the time I was on 33.14%, which is 5,368 stitches. Um, and I managed to get, again, over 2,000 stitches on this since you last saw it. And I'm now at 46.37%, 7,512 stitches. So it's coming on nicely. And you will notice, uh, or you may not, but anyway, um, I was stitching this in a Q-snap and I've come to the conclusion I am not a fan of a Q-snap. I don't like it. I don't like them. They're too bulky. I can't get like near the edges. I just don't like them. Um, so if you are, am I going to say this? Yes. Yes, it's, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of all my Q-snaps. Um, not that I have loads, but I'm, I think I'm going to take them to the Ladybird retreat to see if anyone wants to buy them off me. So if you are there, uh, and you would like my Q-snaps, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've put this in a Nerge instead, which I absolutely love. Anyone hasn't tried these Nerge hoops yet, please do. They are fantastic. The shape is so much better than a normal hoop because you can get, like, obviously m more in it. Um, they hold your thread fabric really nicely. I just love a Nerge. Um, please, please try them. But yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised that this fits in a just to give you an idea, this fits in a size two nerge. So the second smallest one um, is teeny tiny. Um, yeah, I'm stitching this on 25 count antique white Lugana. Um, using all the colorful colors and it's coming along quite nicely now. So I am generally color completing on this one. Um, so I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many more colors I color completed this time, but it's definitely getting there. I definitely focus quite a lot um, in some of these blues, got some of them done. Um, yeah, I think I did a little bit more focus on some of these purples maybe. But yeah, really love this one. It's such a pretty picture. And obviously you can already at nearly 50% in see um, the, the, the design really. Um, the back is terrible. I'm just carrying left, right and centre. It's a mess. But who cares? The front's beautiful. Um, what's that? A bit of fluff down there. Anyway, um, yeah, really, really like this one. Um, I would like to try and get it to 50% before it probably goes away, which isn't that much to do, more to do, really. Probably about another 600-ish 600 600 stitches will get us to 50%. Um, so might as well keep that one out for just get another couple of days on that one and get that past the 50% mark that'd be lovely and then I'd be really really happy with that progress even if that's all I get done for the year I'd love to get a finish on that this year just so I can get one of my full coverages box boxed off but even getting to 50% on a haid even a tiny haid I think that's pretty good going I'm quite happy with that um okay last bit of stitching um I then decided to pull out basically I was really enjoying getting my whip count down um I think I'm back down to 30 now, which is not, it would be lovely to get under 30, but 30 seems like a nice number. Um, plus we do have some new starts coming up. So yeah, I thought I'd 
get get some whips out of the way. Um, so I decided to pull out another smallish whip, which is Snail House Pumpkin by Al Forest Embroidery. I'll pop a picture in of what this will look like when it's done. Um, and I'll also put a picture in of where you saw it last time. So I barely started on this one. I think I'd done like the outline of the door, maybe. Um, there is more reason why um, I decided to pull this one out, which I'll come to very shortly. Um, but here is where I'm up to so far. So it's coming along nicely. So this is a kit from Al Forest Embroidery um, using everything that came in the kit. So it's a 32 count natural Belfast linen um, and it's all the called for Al Forest hand dyed threads, which are beautifully variegated if you can see. Love it, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, it's coming on nicely, really. Um, last night I was working sort of a bit down this side and across the top. Um, so I'm hoping I can get this finished before the Lady Bird retreat next weekend. And I think I can do it. Um, I mean, obviously I've still got like the whole snail body to do and a bit along the bottom and stuff, but yeah, we'll see. Um, so the reason why or one of the reasons why I decided to pull this one out is on my last video, a very lovely, amazing person, my new hero, um, whose name I can't even remember, that's really bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, someone commented on my video anyway, to say, did you know Al Forest have released three more snail houses? And I was like, sorry, what? <laughs> so I immediately ran over to the Al Forest embroidery website um, and she was right, there's three new snail houses. So I think that, oh, now I'm gonna test my memory. There is a pear, there is a tulip, and there is a lemon. A lemon? Maybe a lemon. A pear, a tulip, and a lemon, I think. Three new um, snail houses. I will pop some pictures in of what they look like. I just love them. I just, these snail houses are just great. I can't get enough of them. Um, so I immediately was like, Joe, Belushi Stitches, have you seen these? And she was like, no. So um, yeah, we may have placed a much awaited Al Forest embroidery order. Um, I think we both had quite a list of things we wanted from there, but with the whole um, situation, um, with Al Forest embroidery and Russian post, etc., etc., um, we obviously avoided ordering for a while. But the time, the time had come. We needed some snail houses, um, so we have placed a order with Al Forest, which I have been informed by the Royal Mail should be being delivered today, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, so yeah, I thought, well, I need to finish my old pumpkin here. Um, so that I can start on one of the new uh, much awaited snail houses. So um, yeah, that is one of my plans to get started on some new Alfaro stitching. Um, hopefully I will be able to show you everything that I've purchased within that Alfaro order after it arrives. I was tempted to wait till after this, um, after the delivery before I film this, but I'm not sure I'll get much more of a window after this to film. So I thought I'd sooner get it filmed and I can show you all that next time. Plus I might end up taking the whole box to crew with me next weekend for the Lady Bird retreat. So Joe and I can unpack it together. Um, Cause we thought we'll combine on postage. It's, it's Postage is a lot, that's the problem. I would say if you are buying from Al Forest, if you've got a friend or a couple of friends that wanna buy stuff, all chip in together, get it going to one place and then you can divvy it out. Anyway. So yeah, that's my alfaro stitching. Um, I need to do a lot more alfaro stitching to make myself feel better about the amount of things that are arriving. But anyway, um, yeah, that's my stitching and one of my exciting plans. So thank you, thank you, thank you to that lovely person who let me know about that, um, those snail houses coming out. Um, yeah, I know we, me and Joe started these as Snail House Saturday. I think we were stitching on them on Saturdays. That's definitely gone out the window. Just stitch on them when you want. But if you do want to join us um, with some stale house stitching, please do. They are absolutely adorable patterns and really, really fun to stitch. 
Um, okay. Yeah, that's stitching done. Um, let's go a bit into plans and then I'll show you a little bit of haul um, and have a chat about some floss cheapers. So, um, plans, I wanna finish that snail, obviously, so I can start my new one. Um, yeah, that'll be, I'm hoping to finish that this week, as I say, and I might even start one of the snails at the crew retreat, not sure yet. My other plan for stitching at the crew retreat, um, I'm gonna have a good rummage through my whip basket and see what I fancy taking, um, but I'm definitely gonna take my Christmas wreath from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, which I definitely worked on at the last retreat I went to. So I thought I'll pull it back out and see if, what else I can get done. Um, I should have pulled that out really so I can show you where I'm up to. Shall I see if I can reach it? Hang on, it's only over there. One minute. Right, here we go. So this is where I'm up to on the wreath. So hopefully next time you see this, it will be a little bit further around. Um, I'm probably gonna go this, carry on going this way. So that's where I'm up to on that one. So yeah, hopefully next time you see me, that I'll have a little bit more work on it. Um, also in April, I'd like to start the Lola Crow new stitch along, which is called the Deadly Aquarium. Um, we've seen a few sneak peeks of this and it looks lovely can't wait um really excited for that one um also depending on when i next film um uh, we may be into may which is mermania which is a stitch along that myself and joe from blue she stitches hold um i'm gonna say annually we're gonna start this annually um so mermania um which is stitching on anything mermaid related throughout the month of may um i think i've heard quite a few people said they're gonna join us on this this year um i have a couple of new plans new starts planned for this one which will be the Vintage Black Sampler by Al Forest Embroidery. Getting in some of that Al Forest stitching, which is great. And also the Bella Filipina Mermaid Stitch Along from last year. Um, this will be my first Bella, which I wanna get started. I need to buy some beads for that one. Um, but I definitely have now all the DMC so I can get started on that one. Um, also would like to carry on stitching all my other mermaid, stitch along, uh, mermaid projects that I've got. I've definitely got a few started last year that I'd like to carry on with. Um, and I think that's it for plans. We'll see where we get to. Um, so April doesn't have any huge plans. We'll just see, much like this month, just see what calls and see what we can get done. Um, so yeah, going into some floss tubers that I've been watching. Um, first one I'd like to mention is a fairly new floss tuber. Um, who is called the Peachy Stitcher. She, I think she's got three videos out so far. Um, and she, I think she used to cross stitch quite a while ago, but she's come back to it um, quite new after a very long break. Um, and she's got some lovely projects. Um, yeah, highly recommend checking out the Peachy Stitcher. And the other uh, flossy bread I'd like to mention is the Diddy Stitcher. I think that I met Helen at the first floss tree, Floss Friends Retreat that I went to. Um, was that a couple of years ago now? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I met her there. Um, really lovely. Um, and I found her floss tube and I've just been catching up on that. Um, and she's really good. She's got some really lovely projects. Um, does some really, really lovely work. And when I checked this morning, she was at 995 subscribers. So... It would be really lovely if you could just boost her up over the thousand mark if you're not already subscribed to her. Um, yeah, I think that'd be really nice. Um, yeah, if you can go over and subscribe to Helen, I think you'll really enjoy her channel. Okay, let's go into a little bit of haul. I always do this, I hold my cup of coffee and I never end up really drinking it. Right, haul. So just a few little bits um, that I remembered that I purchased this month. In fact, I think they're all for this month. The first one I've got is, um, I popped a hobby craft last night because um, I just wanted to get the last couple of uh, DMC for um, the, what's it called? Mermaid stitch along. So that, I knew that that was ready to go. Um, we have a new hobby craft here in my hometown. Um, I haven't, like up until this last month, well, oh, when's it been there? It's been there a couple of months now. Up till then, 
Um, my nearest hobby craft was like a 50 minute drive away. I just never bothered going. Um, the only time I ever went to hobby craft is there is one in Crewe near the near where the Ladybird retreat is held. Um, so me and Joe have made a little trip in um, each time we've been, just have a little nosy about, check the stuff that we need. Um, but yeah, now I've got one five minutes down the road and it's dangerous, um, but I love it. It's so handy just for like, DMC is very expensive in there compared to our online needle workshops. Um, but just for grabbing the odd one or two, um, it is, it's so handy, it's great. Although they really need to up their cross stitch, se cross stitch section because apart from the DMC, they have about two cross stitch kits and that is it. Um, so Hobbycraft, please increase your cross stitch section, please. Anyway, I did happen to notice they had some magazines in there. And as I was passing, I noticed that the um, latest World of Cross Stitching magazine was out. And on the cover, I noticed um, this flower fairy. Now I love flower fairies. As a child, my Nana always had flower fairy stuff uh, lying around. She loved flower fairies and my mum loves flower fairies. So I obviously love flower fairies. There's just something really comforting and nostalgic, nostalgic about them. Um, so as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'll have that. Um, I'll just find the slightly bigger picture so you can see. So it's the Lavender Fairy that's in this um, magazine. So I will definitely be stitching that one at some point. Um, so yeah, picked that magazine up to stitch that one. Other things I had to make a, had to make a order with uh, Peakside Needleworks the other week um, for, that might have been for DMC to be honest as well, can't remember. Um, and well you know you've got to get the free post the free postage on these things haven't you you've got to just add things to your basket to get the free postage so i just added a few of the nashville charts that took my fancy that i'd have my eye on um so the first one is a buzz at midnight from hello from liz matthews i love liz matthews patterns and really need to get working on some because i have so many in my stash now that i haven't started um but i just think this is beautiful i love the contrast and colors from the fabric um to the stitching so yeah that's the first one i picked up and the other two i picked up were both from the blue blue flower again i absolutely love blue flower um patterns i've got one started which i'm hoping to work on in mermania um and again i have so many more of these in my sash that i really need to get started on but the first one is this one which is a seasons of the heart pattern hearts for pam i have all four seasons of this not started yet but never mind um i just love this i just loved all the little animals on there i think it's beautiful and again the colors are just stunning so i got that one and the other blue flower one i got was in praise of pollinators which again is a lovely animal design her patterns are just beautiful i love them so yeah looking forward to get started on that one at some point and then my other bit of haul that I wanted to show you was some fabric from my good pal Darcy, Stitchman Darcy over in Canada. Um, if you didn't know already, he has started a business selling, um, sorry, I thought someone was coming up the garden path then. I was hoping it was my whole forest order. It's not. Um, yeah, sorry, um, Stitchman Darcy, he is uh, dyeing his own fabric now and it's lovely. It's on his Etsy shop. Please go and check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can go and have a little nosy. Um, but yeah, I ordered three pieces of fabric from him, which um, eventually arrived. We had, um, yeah, it, it was it was a bit slow on this occasion. Um, I have had a parcel from Darcy before, which literally arrived in about five days, which from the Canada to the UK, I was like, well impressed. Um, this time was a little bit longer, but no, not of anyone's fault at all just you know postage is what it is but they arrived eventually and i've got them and i really love them so i picked three different colored ones um so i've got what have we got green back boogie which is this lovely green shade we've got clockwork orange and we've got tangle up in blue so he does his fabrics are really really bright and vibrant um these are all 18 count that i've got so yeah looking forward to stitching some on those 
And I think that's it. That's all I've got to show you today. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please go and check out those floss tubers that I have recommended. Um, if you are going to crew next weekend, I, I, I just can't wait. I love a retreat. I feel like I live for my retreats at the minute. Um, yeah, can't wait to go to that and see some lovely friends at that next weekend. Uh, get some good stitching in. And I'm aiming to film hopefully at the start of next month. Um, and we'll see what I've ended up stitching on throughout April. And yeah, thank you very much. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye.